My name's Andrew Carr. I'm a Divisional Director here at Gleason Recruitment Group. I uh, head up our digital marketing function, but something I'm also really passionate about is the environment. Um, so what we wanted to do today was welcome Dennis from Ecology to the call um, and just spend a few minutes talking about our partnership with Ecology, who Ecology are, what they do, um, and the impact they and we have by, um, by working together. Um, so Dennis, welcome. Um, if you wouldn't mind just giving us a brief overview, first and foremost, of kind of who you are and what, what you do within Ecology. My name is Dennis Hetzema. I'm the head of sales at Ecology. Uh, Ecology is a, a social enterprise uh, and our mission is to hold climate change. Uh, and we put that in uh, numbers by saying we want to um, avoid or offset 50% of the uh, global carbon footprint by 2040. And, uh, and we work with, with companies like yourself and individuals to, to make climate action easy, essentially. And how did you, uh, I mean, I'll talk in a moment how I kind of got involved and by default how we got involved, but how did you get involved with Ecology? About two years ago, I decided to make a change in my career. Uh, so I've, I've been an, uh, an entrepreneur and, and, uh, and business leader for about 20 years, mainly focusing on, on uh, new product development and, and entrepreneurship. Um, and I realized I only wanted to work on industries that were a plus for the planet. Um, and then I started looking, uh, I, I, I started the consultancy, started helping SaaS uh, businesses uh, uh, professionalize their sales departments. And I bumped into Ecology's bare metrics. So we have a, a dashboard that shows how we perform as a company and that's like all of our numbers are public uh, because we want to show the, the, the world that, uh, that what we do is, is open and, and, and we share transparency is one of our core values. And I saw the performance of Ecology and I went like, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty good performance. Uh, and then I figured out that the, the, it was mainly business to consumer. There was some business to business going on, but it was mainly business to consumer. So I just popped an email to Elliot, the co-founder and CEO, and I said, hey, do you want to help do you want help with professionalizing your, your sales department? We jumped on a call uh, and uh, we liked each other and, and uh, you know, the rest is history. <laughs> Indeed. It's interesting. So my uh, journey with ecology, not quite the same as yours, but again, I joined up as an individual probably 18 months ago. Um, and, and you talk about kind of the transparency of it, the, the usability and, uh, you know, the dashboard where you can see the impact you're having each month is one of the things that really, really stood out to me. Um, and then I was talking to the, the founders at, at Gleason and we were just talking about ways we could do more to um, not just minimize our impact, but actually have more of a, more of a positive impact. Um, so that's where we start talking about uh, potential partnerships. And I think, from there uh, came our partnership with you guys and, and sort of six months later, here, here we are. Um, so could, could you just almost talk through some of the projects that you guys as a business work on? It's great to see your journey because exactly what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it simple for companies to, and individuals to take climate action. And uh, one of the things that we do is, I always explain it, we're an efficiency layer. So buying carbon offsets and buying, uh, buying trees is actually quite complex. And we simplify it and we give like a really simple way to also report to all of your stakeholders what you're doing. Uh, and for that, we've made the decision that we make the purchasing decision for all of our customers. So whenever you do carbon offsetting through us or whenever you plant trees, trees through us, we decide where that all takes place. And then you just get the results and all the nice data and, and, and the financial benefits and all that kind of stuff. Like that. Um, and because of that, we have a lot of different projects. Uh, and the ones that we're doing, so we just broke through 10 million trees. Uh, so for a 21 month old company, we, we scored 10 million trees, pretty awesome. I think that our, our current tree planting rate is about a million for, for two weeks, which is just mind blowing if you think about it, because you know, 12 people, 11 in the UK and one in Sweden, uh, uh, it, it, it feels really, really good. Those, the majority of those tree planting projects are through the Eden Reforestation Project, but we also work with the Future Forest Company and Protect Earth. Um, and and a, a few others, um, and then when it comes to carbon offsetting, we mainly work with Vera uh, Gold Standard uh, projects, uh, and they're all over the world. But there's three main categories: um, uh, uh, natural projects, so projects that are like preventing forests from from being cut down or reforesting degraded land or stuff like that, um, uh, renewable energy, 
of course, uh, and then humanitarian projects. So we, we always try to find a good mix between the three of those. One of the things that you also offer is both projects globally, but also you've got UK specific projects. If your business is based in the UK and you want to support a local project, you've got that option as well. Is that right? Yeah, so that's a tree planting project. Uh, they're not available as one-offs, so they're only available as a as a subscription. And that's you know, if you look at the tree planting rate that we're doing globally, if we would do that in the UK, you know, our heads would explode. We don't know how we would be able to to manage that. You know, trees globally are twelve p per tree, and in the UK you pay three pound fifty five. Um, uh, and the fun thing about the UK trees is when you add them to your profile, you click on them, you get a picture of the actual tree, but you also get a what three word location, so you can actually go and give give it a hug if you want to. If you're so inclined, that's, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a really good, really good option to have. That's one thing that I really like. You guys talk about the cost of your trees. You talk about 12, 12 pence per tree because it, it means people really know what they're getting and where their money goes. I think um, there are a range of different schemes out there. Um, but one thing I really liked about you guys was the really upfront, honest uh, approach in terms of this is what it costs us. This is what, you know, your, your, this is where your money will go. Um, and you can really see the impact it's having. Um, and I don't know if you can just talk about a project that um, maybe one of the, the longer, longest running projects that's maybe had the, the biggest impact so far in terms of ecology. I'm not the one that keeps track of all that, but instinctively, I would say it's, the, it's, our, it's our mangrove replanting in, in Madagascar with Eden Reforestation. That's, that's been our site from the beginning. We built that site as the first site and that's where all the first trees were being planted and then a couple of months ago i can't really remember when but but then all of a sudden that site was overflowing so we had to get new sites and now we've expanded that site so it, um, actually we haven't updated the blog post of the of the, um, the the google map so the google map still looks smaller than what it actually is so i would say that that is probably one of the most long-running projects and the exciting thing about about reforestation projects like that is that apart from being great for the planet, right? These trees will sequester carbon for 25 years. It's when, when 25 years from now, my son is 38, my oldest son, right? And I'm still doing something for him at that point in time. So that feels really good. Um, but the other thing is that, that uh, um, Eden reforestation employs the poorest of the poor, the first victims of climate change. Like they, they total chaos ensued for them because the, the mangroves were deforested for charcoal, but once all that charcoal was sold, there was nothing there anymore. And then poverty struck and all that kind of stuff. And, and then Eden comes in and employs these people and, and gives them livelihood again. So you're doing so much more than just tree planting. We're, we're ending poverty. We're in, in, in improving quality. Like there's all these sustainable development goals. Go into a profile, click on a tree and go to the profile detail, project details. And then you'll see how amazing they are. I've got a personal profile page and then we've got a company page and you can you can really click in and, and zone in and look at the different projects that you are directly uh, supporting, I guess. Um, I mean, in terms of where Gleason's up to as a business, we've been working with Ecology for six months now. I think we have planted just over 5,100 trees um, and I think we've offset over 3,300 tonnes of carbon as well. So... Um, just a small contribution to that 10, 10, uh, 10 million trees you referenced, but it's um, every little helps. I think we're, we're very much kind of going in, in, in the right direction there. I mean, for you almost, it's, it's the purpose of your role, but why should people, businesses and individuals, why should they get involved with people like Ecology? The real pleasure of my job is that everybody that gets involved is making a positive impact on the planet, right? Most companies and, and individuals alike believe that carbon offsetting and tree planting is complex and you have all kinds of comp uh, uh, computational things you have to do and you have to follow all kinds of rules and if you do it wrong you're going to get like in trouble and all that kind of stuff and that's just simply not true right the founding idea of ecology was that the cost to offset an average uk citizen for a month was the same as buying a coffee and a croissant at pret a manger and and that made the founders go like why is not everybody doing this Right? And then the next step is how do you make it as simple as buying a coffee and a croissant at Pret a Manger? Well, that's what we we're trying to do. Uh, so if you if you care about the planet, then then that should be the first step. But I also believe, and there's so much research around that, that you're not the only one that cares about the planet. Your customers will care about the planet as well. So if you show that you care about the planet, you're going to have a, a more competitive advantage or more competitive strength. Uh, to your to 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 the companies that don't care about the planet, and in the end, 
in the end, carbon offsetting and tree planting is not the solution. What we're doing is we're buying the planet time, right? Right now, it's impossible to live a climate positive life without planting trees and carbon offsetting. But hopefully, technology and the supply chain will catch up so that when I ride my skateboard or whatever, the skateboard that I've bought is actually a climate positive skateboard, right? Like we haven't done anything bad to the planet by creating that piece of equipment, but we need time to get there. And, uh, and by signing up to Ecology, you're buying the planet more time and you're becoming part of that supply chain, right? You're sending a strong signal to the market. Hey, let's make things that's better for our planet because other people will buy it as well. And, and that's what's, I think that's what's going to drive change. Um, and, and now I know I'm on my soapbox, but there's one more thing I want to say about that. If you look at our leaderboards on, on, on ecology, our business to business leaderboards, the, 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 it's, it's all companies, less than 200 people. There's one or two companies that are bigger than that, but there's smaller companies that make such a significant impact in such a simple way that I'm, I, I'm, I'm very hopeful for the future because I think that entrepreneurship is going gonna, is gonna to actually halt climate change. I'm, I'm quite convinced of that. Uh, that, look, that's, that's brilliant. I think, interesting though, that it's perhaps being led by SMEs. Uh, they're at the forefront of this charge. Um, is there more that, you know, larger corporates ought to be doing or are they doing different things? Yeah, so, so the, the downside for SMEs until now has been that, that it's been very difficult to take climate action, right? If you have a company of like 10 people or less, you're going to be concerned about making payroll and getting enough customers and making sure that that support ticket is answered, right? So then you might con but might be concerned about the environment, but it's it's just an item on your to-do list. And in the end, you're in business to survive and make money. So so it, it sinks down. But by making it very very simple and making it part of your marketing message and helping you, you know, helping you engage your audience audience through this messaging, you actually can sell more. That means that it all of a sudden opens for SMEs. It was never really open for SMEs. It was all it was only accessible to large enterprises, and now all of a sudden SMEs can do it as well. So that I think is part of the huge change. And when it comes to large enterprises, it's not that they're not doing anything. I mean, we've got sustainability roles in enterprises. We've got all kinds of organizations, uh, organizational structures that are looking at making a bigger impact. But you know, large enterprises take slow decisions. So it's and and it, it needs to pass through committee after committee after committee. And there's like the climate emergency is such a complex problem in and on its own. That complexity doesn't disappear just because it's a big enterprise, right? Uh, so, but we are seeing more and more big enterprises come to us and say, okay, we might not be able to create a climate like we might have like a hundred thousand employees, and they might say like, okay, we can't make everybody climate positive in one fall swoop but let's start with something, right? And then they start planting trees and, you know, a million trees would cost 120,000 pounds, which is for, for mere mortals, that's, that's, that's a lot of money, but for, for a hundred thousand people, people company, that's, that's jump change, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So, so they will come in more and more, I'm sure. But equally, I think the, the really simple message is anybody, any individual can have an impact for, for the price of a cup of coffee, as you said, yeah. you know, we, we can all play our role uh, at really no inconvenience for us, a really yeah. small amount of money, and you actually have a, a really positive impact. So yeah. um, no, no, that's, that's, that's awesome. I really appreciate you taking the time out, uh, Dennis. I, um, you know, great, sort of really invigorating to catch up again on this, something that I'm obviously really passionate about. I'm pleased that uh, Gleason's having a, an impact and more importantly I'm, I'm really pleased that Ecology's having an impact so really really appreciate you taking the time out. Well, thank you Andrew I'm, I'm so stoked to have Gleason on board and, and and that you like you're double offset Andrew because you got your private account and Gleason is offsetting you so you're you're, you're double good which is just awesome right uh, and and I, I'm really thankful for how you guys are spreading the message and, and uh, stoked to have you part of the movement.